Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the famous Baroque composer Johann Sebastian Bach, his musical style, and his musical family. Johann Sebastian Bach was born on March 21st, 1685 in the town of Eisenach, Germany. He was actually born into a very musical family with a rich musical history. In his family tree, you'll find generations of court musicians, church organists, composers, and music teachers. His father, Johann Ambrosius Bach, was a violinist. It's safe to say that young Bach received very early music education from his father. Unfortunately, when Johann Sebastian was 10 years old, he was orphaned. Both of his parents died. So he moved in with his older brother, Johann Christoph Bach. His brother was a church organist and a very talented musician in his own right. We think that he continued Bach's musical education while he lived there as well. And as a fun fact, Johann Christoph Bach studied under Pachelbel, the famous composer. When Johann Sebastian was 15 years old, he left to go to Lüneburg to study music at the St. Michael's School. This was a very long ways away from where his family was, but he established a good reputation for himself as a keyboardist, and there he learned all kinds of music. He would like to write out music transcriptions by hand from the famous composers of the time, and there he learned a lot of his musical craft. Then, in 1703, he was appointed to be the church organist for Duke Johann Ernst II in Weimar. For generations, this position has been held by a member of the Bach family, so it was only natural that Johann Sebastian fill this position. Now here, he was only required to play the organ during church services and maintain the organ. He wasn't actually paid to compose. However, he started composing seriously during this time. A few years later, Bach left this position to become the church organist in the town of Mulhausen. Bach was a Lutheran, however, the town of Mulhausen was pietists. This is a branch similar to Calvinism, and their musical beliefs were such that limited Bach in his composing. The pietists believed that music shouldn't draw attention to itself. It shouldn't be very technically demanding. It shouldn't be super elaborate or extravagant because the purpose of the music was to worship, not to draw attention to itself. And Bach didn't really like this. He wanted to be able to compose what he felt was true worship music. And then in 1707, he married Maria Barbara. And the next year he returned to Weimar. This time he's working under the Duke's brother, Wilhelm Ernst. During this time, he very heavily composed. He wrote many of his preludes and fugues. He also transcribed many works by famous composers at the time, such as Vivaldi. And overall, this was a period of great creativity for him. However, in 1717, he had been offered a position as music director, also known as Kapellmeister for Prince Leopold of Köthen, and he submitted his resignation for his job at Weimar, but the Duke didn't want him to go, so he threw him in jail. Luckily, a little bit later, the Duke came to his senses and let Bach leave. However, working under Prince Leopold, Bach ran into the same problem that he did with the pietists earlier in his life. This place was Calvinist. There wasn't really much sacred music for Bach to write. There wasn't a church choir, so he couldn't do any large-scale choral works, and they liked their music simple. His wife, Maria, passed away in 1720, and a year later, he met and married the very talented soprano who also worked for Prince Leopold. Her name was Anna Magdalena. And then in 1723, Bach was offered a position as the cantor at the St. Thomas Church in Leipzig. He stayed in this position for the rest of his life, although it wasn't without difficulty. He had very heavy duties here. There were hundreds of boys he had to teach at the St. Thomas School where he taught the music. And he was also responsible for the music in four different churches in the city. And also his employers in the town council didn't always see eye to eye with Bach. They treated him more as a teacher rather than a composer, and they didn't always appreciate his talent for music, but they eventually got everything worked out. He was also able to write as much church music as he wanted here because of the four churches that he had to write music for. Bach died in 1750, and he was actually completely blind by this point. He had been losing his eyesight for around the last year or so of his life, and he wanted an operation to see if he could fix his eyesight, but it left him completely blind and then he died a few months later. So the Bach Works catalog lists over 1,000 pieces that Bach wrote during his lifetime, and this doesn't count 
unfinished works or any of his early works that we don't have anymore. This huge amount of pieces includes church music, Latin church music, such as cantatas and passions and oratorios and organ preludes, a huge number of Lutheran hymns arranged for four-part harmony, and he also wrote a lot of orchestral work like concertos and keyboard solos like for the organ or for the harpsichord, as well as chamber music and other things for small groups of instrumentalists.